Hey everybody, this is South Nintendo Park. Welcome back to, um, let's play Super Mario World. Now, you may be wondering, why do you have so much lives? And if you're not wondering that, you're probably wondering, when is the last time you've played this game? Those answers will be found within this video. So, also you may be noticing the quality is different, whether better or worse. There are some things I have to explain. Now, first, I'd like to talk about something called grades. You see, grades are used for getting into better colleges, getting into better schools, and getting better jobs, which can lead to a better life. So, when you're in a family that does stress these grades, what happens when you slack on them? Well, you get punished. And when certain people get punished, they get things taken away from them that sort of distract them from getting these good grades, so their schoolwork and homework and things like that. So, I mean, who could have done that? You know, and how does this affect you? Well, there's somebody outside. Okay, I'm gonna just stop acting like stupid right now. Basically, um, my brother kind of um, has been slacking on these grades and uh, got some of his recording stuff taken away. Okay, so that's basically what has happened. So, sorry to say. Okay, and so basically, they got my recording stuff taken away, and uh, well, how might I ask, am I actually getting this? Well, I'm using an emulator. Is basically what I'm, like, what I'm doing. You know, that may be bad to some people, that may not really matter. Shoot, I do not want to die. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. So yeah, right now, I could save it if I wanted to. No! But I'm not going to. Because that would be wrong. Um, so basically, the uh... Come on dude, get over here. What are you doing? Dude, stop jumping. So yeah, basically. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so safe state be dependent now. It's not even funny. I'm using ZSNES. I'm sorry, this is a horrible, horrible beginning. But dude, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to get over here somehow. See, I swear to god, now my dad comes upstairs and he's using the bathroom in his room. It's super loud. All that great, fantastic stuff. Okay, so some point going down there is point going down here. No idea. I haven't not played this part in a while, so just excuse the bad. Oh, sweet, I got a one up. That's so awesome. Um, yeah, please excuse like the bad comments and gameplay and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'm using them. I'm using Camtasia, and I'm, so in order to beat this game, I'm basically just gonna do it right now. Probably in this uh, this recording with this style, you know, on an emulator, because it might not be a while. Finally, dude, I'm rewinding. I am sorry. That is bull. That is bull. I'm. I know. I just did something I shouldn't have done. I probably should change the uh, control so I can't do that. But um, yeah. Sorry about that. So, that's where we're at right now with this whole ZSNES or ZNES or whatever it is. Exactly, I always forget which one it is. So right now, I'm going to say goodbye, I'm going to change the configure so I can't do save states or rewinds, and I'll see you back. Okay, so, I just took care of that. We're good, no more rewinding, no more save, wait, no, 
I'm not. I haven't taken. I forgot to do something. Just wait. Now we're set. Okay. Sorry about that. Very sorry about that. So yeah, this is a ROM basically, and this this is the ROM has the original file info for the game. So, um, you could play hacks on this, which hacks are basically just, they, they use a certain program, which is Lunar Magic, I think, if you just want to get specific, but, um, basically, yeah, you can play hacks, and they, they actually make their own overworld, they make a lot of custom stuff, and it's pretty cool, and so you can download them from a website called SuperMarioWorldCentral.net, it's, um, it's actually SMWCentral.net, that's, that's actually how it is. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's other places you can download it, too, but it's it's pretty cool. And so I'm using this emulator. Should be something up here. There we go. Yeah, I'm just using this emulator to complete this, so I'm very sorry if you don't like that, if that's not, you know, that's not, that's not moral, that's morally wrong in the gaming world. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. For Father, I have sinned, you know. I'm going to hell. Yeah. I hate this level so much. Okay, so... Yeah, that's basically what's been going on. You know. Uh, so... I mean, yeah, I mean, after this, I'm thinking of playing some hacks on there. I think I think I really do want to. And also, continuing blind playthroughs of hacks that I haven't played through before. I've played through some hacks. There's one hack i played through all the way. Very popular hack. It's Brutal Mario. So... I'm going to do that pretty much all the way through. I mean, it is actually a demo, so I'm going to go all the way through the demo. But, yes, I'm pretty much going to do it just all the way through all the secrets that I know, because I've played through it before. And I'll use safe states. I mean, on this, I won't, you know. And I don't think I'll put it in, like, widescreen format. I really don't want to maybe go through that. I don't think that really matters. It does seem like I'm copying SSOHBKC a lot, though, by doing all of this stuff that's exactly like him. But, I don't know, I mean, the widescreen thing, I really just kind of don't care about. The whole formatting with those lines have really, really, I don't know, gotten to me as something so simple. I mean, I've look, looked at tutorials for, like, um, good quality, um, rendering settings. However, they, like, put 1080p and, like, all this, you know, all these great things. I just want it to be normal, just 480p at the most, you know, just a pretty good quality. Like, I rendered an MP4 because that's what I heard. You know, NCS did, but then, like, all of a sudden, the formatting lines were just different for some stupid reason. And it kind of, and it just, yeah, it's like, there's, there's black bars everywhere, and I just, it kind of pisses me off, because I don't want there to be black bars everywhere, you know? So I'm just kind of still in just the whole setting that stuff up, and now I'm using Camtasia, which is totally different. I mean, it has that 1280 by 720 format, which, that's pretty much 720p HD. I want it to be in that format, but I don't need it to be that high of quality, because it takes a longer time to render, and it's just, it's just more, more stuff to do, basically. And it's just, it's rather annoying. It's really, you know, it's just, it's superfluous, and just sort of beyond, you know, what, I, what is necessary. Which is the definition of superfluous, so, there you go. A lot of people use superfluous, though, so it's not really that new of a word, because it's used all the time. It really is. It's used a superfluous amount of times. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I can't believe this recording's gone. It's like nine minutes already. You know what? Screw the cave. I don't care. I just want to get through this level. Because, yeah, there's a secret in this level. I hate how all of the levels, or at least most of them, have secrets, are just the ones that are just so boring to go through. Now, there is a fast forward feature on this. So, and I haven't disabled that, so I literally could. But, I mean, yeah, that's all it is. It's fast-forward. And once I fast-forward, I can't rewind because I don't have it set. I could set it back and then rewind, but, to be honest, um, yeah, it, it just, I don't think it would work. Because, like, I don't know, there's, like, all these these states they make for rewinds, how far back you can go. You can go back pretty far, but sometimes you go back pretty short. Like, they give, like, certain specific states, you know. And you got your save state and load state. Like, so you save the one state, and then you load that exact state. So you know where you save. With rewind, you're not exactly sure, but that's just in case, like, you died, you didn't save the state any time soon. You just press rewind, you just tap it, 
It goes really fast, though. Same thing with Fast Forward. But yeah, that's the advantages of a um, of an emulator, basically. You can use those tools. That's basically if you heard of a tool-assisted speedrun, you know, you see a lot of those. It's kind of like that. Like, they play the game at, like, a super slow speed, and they have all these tools, and, like, they do it until they get it right, and then, so you can get all these exact, um, commands. Just, you can get them exactly as you want them, so you can glitch and all that stuff. That's basically what it is. So using a sort of special emulator, I guess. A secret here. Actually, it took me quite a while. But if you see this, it actually goes up, and you can actually use that as a ledge and get back on there. So, and there you go. Actually, I'm pretty sure the first time I did that, I actually died. So stupid. The fact that they just put the pit there is just like, wow, thanks. Such an asshole move by Nintendo. Uh, we're gonna do the Valley Fortress later. Right now, we're gonna do the Valley Ghost House. Yay, our final ghost house, though. So, keep that in mind. I mean, if there's something wrong, like I didn't do a level, like I skipped something, you know, if you can, or if you care, please notify me. You know, just say in the comments, or whatever. I think I got everything, I tried really hard to get everything, so... Shoot, there you go. I just died, because I didn't jump. I'm using just a, con a normal controller that's actually a USB plug-in, it's like, it's not... A, like a PS2 controller or anything that a lot of people do, or like an Xbox 360. It's just, it's an actual controller, it's specifically USB, we just bought it. And it actually is really good, it's like, it's a Steel Series thing. And it's really cool, to be honest, it is really good. So, I'm not gonna die this time. Just, I'm just so used to not having to worry about that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna get to the end, am I? Oh, I'm not. Okay. So, um, both three and four are the same, I'm pretty sure. They're just the normal exit. But that final one was the secret exit, but it's not that simple. It's actually a lot more complicated than what it seems. So, I'll just get to that, but... Um, this could be the end of the video.